Many SaaS apps today use OAuth, and OAuth requires the user to grant consent for that app to read its data and sometimes even write and make changes to the data, such as your mailbox in Office 365 or even your Azure Active Directory identity. So I'm gonna show you how to govern that OAuth app consent in Azure Active Directory. Let's take a look. Okay, let's browse to a app that uses OAuth. And we're gonna sign into that OAuth app. And this is just one example of an app that uses OAuth, by the way. So when I sign in, it's gonna ask me for my Azure AD credentials. Let's zoom in here for you so we can see what we're doing. And type in our password. And here we can see that before I get access to the app, my admin needs to approve access. Now I can see this app is trying to sign in and read my user profile in Azure Active Directory. Uh, I've seen apps do other things where it might even read your mailbox, it might read your calendar, it might do a number of different things. So here is where I can type in a justification. And when I click on request approval, a notification will be sent to the admin letting them know that I need uh, uh, access to this app, okay? So now let's go and close this window out and let's go to the admin's mailbox. And in just a moment, the admin will get an email letting them know that an approval is required. And here we could see the email that came in. Please review this consent request for Pi, which is the name of the app. And I can see who requested it. I can see the justification and when it expires. And if I click on review request as the admin, I'll be taken out to the Azure uh, AD portal here. I'll see the app, I can click on the app, and then I can see details about the request down here. I can even see who requested it, and then click on the help menu, it tells me what these three buttons up here do. So at this point, I can either review those permissions that they're requesting and provide consent, I can just block the app for everybody, or I can just deny this one request. So it's as simple as that, okay. So now let's take a look at how do we set this up? Well, to configure this and set this up, in the Azure portal, under the Azure Active Directory blade, I'm gonna to go to Enterprise Applications and then click on User Settings, all right? And under User Settings, this is where I can scroll down and choose Admin Consent Requests, and I can tell it users can request admin consent to apps they're unable to consent to. Boom, right here, click that to yes, choose my admins, in this case it's Megan, and uh, they will receive an email notification, they'll even see, receive expiration reminders, and the consent request expires after 30 days. It's that easy. And when I click save, we're off to the races and ready to go. So in my environment, I do not allow users to consent to apps at all. The admin must consent to it, and they need to uh, provide a justification, ask for approval in order for that to happen. Now, if I come in here to uh, my enterprise applications, I go to all applications, and I scroll down to that app that I was showing you, this is where I can then see those permissions that have been granted for that app for those specific users. And I'll talk more about this in another video. Okay, folks, that's a little bit about how to govern access to these apps, specifically the consent portion of these apps. Hope you found some value in it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and we will see you in the next video. Take care.